I am feeling well uh, also. I, uh, I'll tell you what I did this morning. Uh, I, I woke up, uh, and uh, that's how I start my day. And, uh, and then I, I brushed my teeth, and then I put on my wig, and I... Uh, <laughs> And I did some yoga, and uh, that's what I've been doing every single day for about a month now. I've kind of done it off and on for a while, but I've been doing it every single day for, for a month because it's a great way to start my day, and it gives me energy because I need it right now with all the jobs I took on. Uh, <laughs> but I'm getting good at the yoga. I'm, uh, I'm, my downward dog is so good I can't even show it on daytime television. <laughs> it's, I'm telling you. I'm glad that you stopped clapping because I had to get let go right then. Um, <laughs> but, you know, and then people ask me what kind of yoga I'm doing because there's all kinds of different uh, yogas that people, especially in L.A., I guess, there's power yoga, which to me is an oxy oxymoron. I don't understand power yoga. But, um, and then there's Bikram yoga, which is uh, you do it in hot, hot rooms packed in with lots and lots of people. And you can always tell the people that uh, do Bikram because they're stinky. Um, <laughs> come out just soaking wet, the Bikram yoga people. And uh, I do, uh, it's all based on Hatha yoga, which is what I'm doing. It's basically just stretches. All yoga is based on, um, they watched animals and started doing stretches that animals do. And I have seen my dog clean himself in certain ways that, uh, <laughs> I'm not looking for that pose at all. I don't, I don't want to know how to clean myself or get in that position or... No, no one needs that. Someone, get someone to do that for you. But um, <laughs> the, uh, the word yoga is, uh, it actually means uniting because when you're doing yoga, you're uniting your mind and your body, which is true because sometimes I am in a, in a crazy position and my mind is going, ah, <laughs> ah, and my body's going, I know. <laughs> and then my mind's going, get out of this. And my body's going, I can't, I'm stuck. <laughs> I can't move. But I'm doing yoga with, um, with a yogi, not just a yoga instructor, a yoga, a yogi. And he, the uh, yoga is an exercise. A yogi is a way of life and a cartoon bear. And <laughs> you remember Yogi Bear. Um, I don't know if he was a yogi, but uh, he ate a lot of sandwiches, so I don't think so. But uh, my yogi's name is Cameron. You've met him before. He was on the show last year. And uh, he's fascinating to be around because he really leads a totally different life than most of us. I would love to be more like him in, in so many ways. He's just the calmest guy I've ever met. And in some ways, I will never, ever want to be like him. He sleeps. He doesn't sleep on a bed. He sleeps on the floor. And not a sleeping bag, literally a floor. Which explains this morning he walk, walked in, he had a dime stuck to the side of his face <laughs> and a little bit of lint and a popcorn kernel right there. <laughs> but uh, he says sleeping on the floor is, is better for your back. You're not supposed to sleep on a, a soft bed. And he thinks that I should sleep on the floor because of my back. And uh, I, I look, I want to take care of my back, but I am not sleeping on the floor. I'm, if this is all based on animal behavior, my animals don't even sleep on the floor. If my, if my dog walks in, there's a dog bed or a floor, my dog's going in the bed. So, and uh, th really, the only way I'm sleeping on the floor is if we're covered with thick, thick shark shag carpet and, and pillows and blankets and a box spring and a mattress. And then, <laughs> then I'll sleep on the floor. But... But Cameron, I have, uh, I have a lot to thank you for, and you're making me more flexible and giving me more energy, and I'll show you what I mean by that.